What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, we got another chapter of One Piece, chapter 987. And it, it <sighs> to put this in my words, because I guess these past couple chapters, I've been trying to sound, you know, I guess, educated when it comes down to this. But I'm just going to speak from the heart, speak from the soul when I come when it comes to reading these, because my excitement for reading these chapters for not just this but my hero black clover um the records of ragnarok which i will be covering for you guys y'all gotta see the excitement like you try to i try to put this in my own words yo things is getting fucking good pretty good really good all right and the best thing i can say when it comes down to this war in wano is it's gonna take a long time everybody remembers the fight between luffy and katakuri and like katakuri got build up but he didn't get major major build up build up to like over years and years and years katakuri was only shown for like what a couple months the once he would just came up as a badass everybody was like oh yeah the fight between him and luffy is probably gonna be fucking amazing which it was it was long but it was it was still good and i still think that he could be the son of kaido but you know we're gonna we're gonna leave that theory alone because I was wrong but the one thing i can say about the war of wano is pretty much this <laughs> it has begun and the reason why i sit there and say that the war has finally begun is because of the fact that kaido got hit not just once not twice nine times the scabbers all landed a blow to kaido and from this point before before this point any of this happened we all believe that yo kaido can't get hurt even though he got that scar on his stomach and we all done seen that scar so technically he could get hit he can take he can take a hit he can take a blow he can take a cut he can take a stab he can take a bullet it's just how can this man take or this beast take pain pretty much so the nine scabbers got nine hits into him you know he's pretty much the 50 cent of uh, one piece at the moment you know he done took nine stabs and now he, he can get back up but here's the thing kaido was sitting there thinking in his head how in the hell can they hit me like hold on like did i just get hit not just once but nine times now this theory is going around people are saying that you know kaido is so stressed out to a point to where like hey he can actually be affected or the nine scabbers done learn some type of you know hockey or they learned what odin had learned to where he could land a blow on kaido because you know that little scar that kaido has on his stomach that came from odin so he's thinking to himself uh shit they found out a way to hurt me they found a way to you know actually inflict pain and kaido is he's sitting here screaming and yelling saying like i think he's screaming and yelling because of the fact that hey they learned how to you know hurt him because nobody else knew how to do this remember this dude has been captured count countless times dude tried to commit suicide fail the marines tried to kill him i mean execute him failed um i guess he had a couple wars and he was like he went head first into combat and they done hit him with everything and that failed so this right here is a shock well i want to say a shock to everybody but i mean it's anime it's manga so i mean like sooner or later they were gonna find a way to you know take out kaido but to everybody else around him everybody was shocked like yo did the big boss man just get take a hit big mom in the corner talking about what well, big mom in her little area talking about some oh is kaido dead even though she knows deep down inside yo kaido ain't dead he ain't about to let these little cuts these little paper cuts kill him he, he's gonna get back up and then she sees luffy and i find this kind of funny that she was pretty much calling him telling luffy that he's stupid he's an idiot that hey you think you're gonna come up here fight me fight kaido and think you're about to be successful and luffy turns around and tells her yeah yeah i'm here to not just beat your ass but orochi's ass and kaido's ass i'm just here to i want to smoke with everybody so whether you like it or not this is how things are gonna be and he said he I, and i feel like pretty much what he was saying in my terms in my words i'm not leaving until all you guys are either dead or knocked or defeated either 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 way y'all are going to you know get the life beaten out of you pretty much and i don't think luffy's gonna fight big mom but i know he's gonna fight kaido somebody gonna fight big mom or he's probably gonna be like hey wait your turn let me fight kaido first then you get your turn now rochi 
as of right now, is dead. Unless I'd have missed something, Orochi's dead. You remember Kaido cut his head off? But like I said, he's a Hydra. And just like, you know, if you're a Marvel fan and you've been watching the movies and are reading the comic books, a Hydra is, I think, I forgot how many heads it usually starts off with. But you know, when you cut its head off, two take its place. Hell Hydra. So that's pretty much what Orochi is. He's pretty much a Hydra. So when his head gets cut off, I'm pretty sure he's going to grow two heads. So that means Orochi's going to have two annoying ass heads. So he's going to be not just, he's just that one annoying character. He's going to be like, all right, King, I just really just killed this dude off. So we ain't got to deal with him no more. But we also deal with the fact that, you know, OT is here and she and Yamato. People are saying that they don't want to see her, them two fight because Yamato knocked her out earlier in the, a couple chapters ago and i was like that was a sneak that was a uh, she that was a sucker punch that was a sneak attack y'all like this is probably ot talking about so oh no nah, fam you you knocked me out before but now i know that you're here and i now that I, I see you coming this could be a fair fight so i would actually like to see ot you know her and ot go one-on-one -on -one. i mean yamato i feel like she's gonna be a straw hat pirate later on down the line but right now because she just popped up not a couple chapters ago i don't even think like 20 chapters ago she had popped up and we don't know not much about her we all thought it was a boy because kaido said son but now it's a daughter and she wants to be like odin so there's more to her character that i would like to learn about um that we would all like to know about but for right now it looked like her and ulti about to go one-on-one -on -one, and i would actually still like to know what kind of dinosaur or beast ult supposedly supposed to be like i said somebody compared her to if you play pokemon craniados the craniados pokemon from diamond and pearl to fossil pokemon i forgot what type of dinosaur that was supposed to be but yeah somebody just said that's the type of dinosaur she's technically supposed to be i highly doubt that but whatever now another thing that i kind of liked was when the scabbers decided that they wanted to fight kaido and they went from the lower level to the top of the dome and Kaido's all like, all right, look, we up here. You know what? Y'all y'all came at me, so now here, I guess all y'all about to die today. The minks. If you if you know what the minks are, you know, carrot, um, carrot, carrot is all I can say. Carrot is the only one I can think of at the moment. And there's a lot of minks that done popped up in One Piece, but Carrot is the one that I can, you know, talk about. I mean, I can think of at the moment because she's actually with you know, I think she's a straw hat pirate. She might as well be. Anybody that's with Luffy at this point, I count as a straw hat pirate. I don't care what nobody's say. Like. But the moon, the full moon's out. And we all know what happens when the full moon is out. They're like werewolves, you know what I'm saying? Uh, their beast form comes out. To me, I call them their true forms. I'm like, this might as well be who they truly are. Because what they look like before the moon is out, I'm like, you really can't take them serious. But when the moon, the full moon is out and they get their full power and stuff, like Carrot, you know, she becomes, you know... A hundred, a uh, hundred times hotter, I guess. You know, she becomes waifu when the moon is out, cause she looks totally different from what she looks when the moon is not out. And they pretty much turn into their beast modes. That's what I'll call them. They they actually have a legit name, but I call them beast modes, cause this is where they lose their minds and they start going ape shit. So, Kaido's. I want to say Kaido's in for a world to hurt, but look like he's in them for a world to hurt. And also, these guys understand that you know if they die here, their will. They know that Luffy at least will end Kaido. They at least know that Luffy will. But they at least want to try first before Luffy does. You know, it's nine against one. So that means that Kaido might have his work cut out for him. Because like I said, he already got cut nine times. So either we get to see him, you know, you know that form they have where they got in between, it's like in between, like you got the human form, then you got the in between form, then you got the full animal form. Like when he turns into a full dragon, what's that form in between where he's like part human? How like page one turned into um, that half dinosaur, half human uh, hybrid thing he did when he fought, um, now, uh, when he fought Sanji at the, um, what's it called? That little soup place. But I would like to see that. Hopefully we'll see that in the next chapter or the chapter soon. Hopefully we see it soon. I don't want to wait until he fights Luffy to see him do something like that. But that's what it looks like was what's about to happen. The Nine Scabbers feel like they might die during this fight. I feel like they they understand that they're they're by gonna they're gonna die. And if they die, they're gonna take uh Kaido with them. Now Big Mom's still down there, you know, being fat, eating. 
Uh, same thing with uh Queen. Queen down there like, all right, man, Luffy really think he about to do something. But then when they see all these other people show up, Queen with his, you know, <laughs> the way Queen's reaction is every time something that he as unexpected happens, like his eyes just pop out of his socket and stuff. And King, he just stays so calm in his little, you know, leather sex dominatrix uniform that he's wearing. So it's it's it's, it's just all weird, man. J Jack is there too. Don't forget about Jack. But I guess the fight's about to be set up. You know, who's going to be fighting who? I think Carrot and Nami going to be dealing with Big Mom. OT, Yamato, uh, Luffy could be fight. Luffy could just be waiting for the Nine Scabbers to get done fighting Kaido. Or Kaido get done beating down the Nine Scabbers. Then he's going to pop up and be like, all right, my turn. Um, Zoro could be fighting X Drake, hopefully. Because, you know, X Drake has swords, but he could be fighting somebody else. Um, you know, Usopp and um, Chopper always got to have, they want to fight with somebody who's, it's not really a full, like a decent fight. It's more like a comedic fight. Because, you know, Usopp and, you know, Chopper really don't really do much that's like legit fighting, fighting. Uh, Saba Mask or Sanji, Black Lad Sanji with his Power Ranger Morpher from his family. He could be fighting page one. He might as well fight page one because he did page one in pretty dirty. Or he could be fighting Hawkins. Um, don't forget Eustace Kid could be fighting, um, could be fighting Homeboy. Uh, damn, I forgot his name. Apu. He could be fighting Apu because, you know, he's really upset with the whole betrayal. Also, that's another thing that has not popped up yet, but it will be happening soon. And if it doesn't, then I, I, I'm shocked. A lot of people about to get betrayed. Uh, alliances are going to be disbanded and a lot of people are just going to be upset. You know, we, you know, we already seen it. We used this kid in Apu. Uh, Hawkins, maybe X Drake might be, you know, leaving. Cause remember, X Drake is part of the Marines. So technically, since he's part of the Toby Ropo as well, you know, dude's in there. So he, he's getting all the intel he can. He reminds me of um, uh, Don Flamingo's brother. Because remember, Rosanante was, you know, Working for the Marines, and he was just a—he was an in—he was a spy for the Marines, spy on what his brother was doing. Now with X Drake, it's—he's not related to nobody in there, but it's pretty much the same thing, kind of, sorta. The only difference between this is I don't think nobody's gonna find out that X Drake is a spy unless Queen done caught on to that. Cause remember Queen's talking about he gonna take off one of the Toby Ropo, so he probably might know that X Drake is you know a spy. But then again, we don't know. I'm surprised Hawkins don't know since he'd be playing with the tarot cards, but maybe them tarot cards are just for show. I, I don't I don't know. Me personally, I'm not a I, I was a fan of Hawkins, but when he starts with them tarot cards, I'll be like, alright man, it's a bit much. Like it's kinda corny to me. I still like his devil fruit. I still like his abilities. Just a little tarot cards, not so much. But what do you guys think? You know, this is this is the beautiful part about these YouTube videos I be making. Discussion. What do you guys think? Do you think all the members of the Nine Scavers are gonna die? Do you think they gonna actually, you know, damage Kaido some more? Or you think Kaido's gonna, you know, bust out some, you know, hidden technique that we never seen him do before? Because remember, his scales are hard as shit. So, I, I don't know how they're gonna land it, but they're gonna do something to where they, you know, affect this dude. But what do you guys think? I appreciate y'all watching this video. I hope y'all taking care of yourselves during this crazy pandemic. You know, things is still crazy. So, I hope y'all taking care of yourselves, you know. Not losing your mind, staying safe, wearing your mask, using hand sanitizer, disinfectant, all that crap. But other than that, guys, that's all I got. Peace.